death. Baton Rouge police are looking into a shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22 year old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1:20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Garrett G Money Burton was shot and killed in 2017, just as his music career was about to take off. And Ava Burton says the feeling of losing her son is still fresh. Nothing really has changed to me. I still feel the same way. They got, they still feel the same to me. A lot of you are reacting tonight to the arrest of this man, DeAndre Fields, Butler's police. Who they arrested him years after the shooting of the local rapper Garrett Burton. Saturday, September 9th, 2017. The city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, had no idea before the next 24 hours they were about to lose one of their most promising hip hop artists and favorite residents, Garrett Burton, aka the real G Money. G Money would begin his day with his girlfriend, Sara. He woke her up, and the first order of things that day was going to the restaurant and bar, Boiled and Roux. From there, they went to their new four bedroom house, which they had moved into just two days prior, as they needed a bigger place because their family was about to grow. His girlfriend was expecting their child. Grasp, like, your daddy not physically here. Like, he don't know the difference between physically. Mentally. He still mentally feels dead around, but... G Money had made his way back out. So as the day went along, she would call requesting his help, moving things in at the new home. Due to her not feeling the best at the time, they agreed she would move the small things and he would move the larger ones. And I was moving stuff, but I was sick, like I was really sick in my face, so I was moving stuff, so I, it was agreement, like, I'm gonna move the small stuff, so I'm pressing him to come on, hurry up, you know, let's finish moving the big stuff. At around 7 p.m., G Money would instead invite her to come meet him at Wingstop, which she did do, where they spent some time together, catching up on how their day was going. So like the last time I saw him before he died was probably like 7 o'clock that day. He had called me out to town to get some food. It was after that, G Money made a decision that would result in his life being taken away. Instead of going back to the house, he had a feature for a song he wanted to get done. So he told his girlfriend, Sara, he's going to go do that quickly and be back at the house. He had got me some wings stuff. I met him in wings stuff. We talked, caught up on our day. You know, oh, I got this little future I got to knock down. So I'm like, all right, don't be all night because we're supposed to be moving. I've been moving stuff all day. G Money would make his way to the studio on Dallas Drive, where he was with his close friend, Fat Chapo. Little did G Money know, there were persons wanting him gone that night. There have been speculations as to how they got his location. Some assumed he was trailed on his way there, as it was a studio he frequented, while others allude that the assailants caught wind of his location at that particular time due to his alleged video posted that night online of them in the studio. G Money would call his mother that night, unbeknownst to her, it would be the last time she ever spoke to her son. She recalls their final conversation. G Money said he was coming over and his mother playfully told him to bring her over a television as she needed a new one. G Money agreed to make it happen and said he would send his with his girlfriend and child's mother, Sara, as he often would have her deliver what his mom wanted. But it was like this time, his mother instinctively knew he wouldn't be around much longer because this time she said she wanted him to bring it because she wanted to see his face. One of the last things she said to him after that was that she wanted to see him breathing. Sadly, she would never see her son, G Money, breathing again. The night carried on. Everything was going fine. But ultimately, it was time to make their way out. It was after 1 a.m., September 10th, 2017. Fat Chapo, would tell G Money to wait before going out, as he was going to get his bag and also a slipper that G Money left behind. But while Fat Chapa went about retrieving them, G Money continued out the door. At that point, Fat Chapo and another person at the studio hear a loud boom. But as the sound inside the studio was so loud, they were unaware at the time that what they heard was a gunshot. Fat Chapa would begin heading out of the room on his way outside. 
As he walked outside the room and within view of the front door, outside was pitch black, causing him not to be able to see G-Money. But what he could make out with his vision from opening was a gun sparking as the assailant continued firing and close enough to hear the sound of the gun, which he deduced had to be something of high power. At that point, instinct kicked in and Fat Chapo ran back inside to retrieve his firearm as about four shots rang off. Unaware how many assailants were present or where they were in the thick of darkness, Fat Chapo was forced to wait until the shooting subsided. At first chance he got, he rushed outside armed, only to find his best friend, G Money, wounded, bleeding out on the floor. Fat Chapo was confronted with the traumatizing image of his friend covered in blood and rushed to his side to provide whatever assistance he could. He would call 911 while at G Money's side, and a dispatcher would guide him along as to what to do while the ambulance is on the way. But time was running out, and Fat Chapo was about to take G Money to the hospital himself, but the dispatcher advised against it as he could injure G Money more in the process of moving him. Approximately 15 minutes more would pass, and Fat Chapo was overweighting. Just when he was about to take G Money to the hospital, the police would arrive and instead allegedly placed him in police vehicles while investigating the situation and awaiting the ambulance. Fat Chapo would call and inform G Money's girlfriend he was shot. At this point, G Money was still alive, fighting for his life. Hearing the news, his girlfriend rushed to the studio in a panic, but officers kept her from seeing G Money and cornered off the crime scene. Chapo called me, he was like, Law, they just shot money. And I'm like, what hospital y'all at? Like, I'm panicking, like, I'm on the phone, like, what hospital y'all at? What hospital y'all at? Whatever. And he was like, we had the studio, like, I hung up. So, like, we stayed in Denham at the time. Yeah, I really made it from Denham to the studio in, like, seven minutes for that. I was running through every light, like, I could have really wrecked that car, like, I was driving so fast. When I made it there, the tape was already up. Uh, I'm going to give y'all more reactions like on Lost and stuff, but when I made it, he was, I'm going to say he was alive when I made it, but they didn't let me see him. Overcome with grief, she called G-Money's mother, who was sleeping at the time, and broke the sad news to her. It was a shock. Disbelief her son was gone. G-Money's mother would rush to the scene still in disbelief, hoping it wasn't true. Authorities wouldn't let her go see him, but soon the reality would begin sinking in when they brought his jury and recited the time of passing to her, 1.45 a.m. The news would echo the haunting truth to the city, Baton Rouge, and the hip-hop community. Sunday, September 10, 2017, at approximately 1.30 a.m., Garrett Burton, a.k.a. The Real G Money, was shot and lost his life. Baton Rouge police are looking into a shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot 22-year-old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Many would begin speaking out against the gang culture, taking the lives of the youth. Two in particular were recorded at the crime scene, revealing the bloodstained ground where G Money passed away. Something strange was spotted at the scene within the video that opened up a mystery. There was understandably blood stains, but there were also pillows where G Money was shot soaked in blood. It begs the question, why were pillows randomly in that location? Well, as time went on, speculation began circulating for those in the street culture to online, and comments started making a connection to the NBA, aka Never Broke Again camp, and G Money's incident. According to these allegations, an NBA member and cousin of the popular rapper NBA Young Boy, Ben 10, was present with the assailants at the shooting and would toss the pillow at him while stating something along the lines of, go to sleep, as he was gunned down. Not only was the rumor swirling around, but it only added to the blame being pinned on the NBA camp as the one responsible for G Money's hit. This was due to the feud between G Money and NBA Young Boy that was brewing and escalating at the time. The two were like brothers in their younger days, but sad how their friendship deteriorated. The rivalry began to an apparent falling out from the first collective they were from, Top Boy Gorillas, aka TBG, which found its roots in the era of Baton Rouge legends, 
Boozy Badass, and his friend Ivy Smith, aka Lil Ivy, who started TBG. NBA Youngboy was a member of TBG and even appeared in music videos like iPhone 6 featuring Boulevard Mel, Fred O'Bang, G Money, and YMM Captain. It's alleged the fallout between G Money and NBA Youngboy occurred over spotlight rivalry. Don't nobody want to see the Knicks man in the head of them so like if you like like it, it's, it really behave for no reason like if you just get to doing your thing like if you just get to moving forward it's gonna be unnecessary beef coming from everywhere because this man might be rapping and you didn't pass them up so now he got all this kind of animosity built up and and the straw that broke the camel's back g money's relationship with young boy's sister not really he mad he mad about his sister too though about his sister yeah i had her a long time ago the two would become embroiled in a series of back and forths online, sending verbal shots at each other. G Money would go on to release his viral track, Industry, soon after with lyrics aimed at Young Boy with the lines, Your sister swallowed, so I never kissed her, but I F with her, so I never dissed her. Earlier in the song, G Money also alluded to him having to protect Young Boy in the past when his cousin was after his life. I would have bust for you, ninja. I put my trust in you, Ninja. Now I can't F with you, Ninja. Had me looking for your cousin. He wanted to pop you. I put a 30 up under my pistol. The cousin G Money is speaking on is the relative of YB, Bozilla. Just a month after G was murked, Youngboy released the album Ain't Too Long, which had the track Poor One. The song reflected on the past and people gone. In it, he rapped the lyrics referencing G Money. Remember smoking with your little brother? Matter of fact, homie, I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some foul ish and had intercourse with my sister. Then threw it in my face in front of the people on Insta. These connections to NBA Youngboy being responsible for G Money's hit would only grow stronger two years after his passing in 2019, when an NBA affiliate and brother of NBA Big Ten, Lil Pap, was arrested for his involvement with G-Money's shooting incident. DeAndre Fields, aka Lil Pap, was charged for the hit. A lot of you are reacting tonight to the arrest of this man, DeAndre Fields. Baton Rouge police say they arrested him years after the shooting death of a local rapper, Garrett Burton. G-Money's passing left a lot of hurt to loved ones that even years later still left a scar. One that felt it most was his best friend, considered his brother, Fred O'Bang, who was locked up on attempted hit charges when he lost his brother. Do you feel like you need counseling or therapy in regards to, the, to the G money? Yes. yes. Sometimes I scare myself. Fred O'Bang would let his pain go through many songs, one being the sentimental track, Dog Gone. G Money is remembered through his family, friends, fans, and four kids. The person who was accused of taking his life, DeAndre Fields, has since posted $250,000 bond. And as of January 2023, updates are that he attempted a plea deal that would allow him to serve five years in prison on an accessory charge. DeAndre Fields, in the plea agreement, would expose more details in G Money's hit. He alleged, he was not the shooter who was in the car with the group and the person who fired the weapon, taking G-Money's life. G-Money was about to take off with his career, with the record label deal about to take him even further when he lost his life. It feel like yesterday. It still feel the same to me. Like I said, me have kids used to seeing all the time I was talking to, you know. And then he's about to leave here, got a record that he's getting to leave at Rudge. So all that kind of plays into how I feel right now. You know, it robbed me of that. That's kind of horrible for me. A tragic loss that will forever leave a wound on the hearts of Baton Rouge hip-hop and his loved ones. Rest in peace, the real G-Money.